Imagine a world without God, a world where there is no higher power to guide us or judge us, a world where we are completely free to make our own choices and create our own destiny. This is the world that Friedrich Nietzsche envisioned in his famous proclamation, God is dead. Nietzsche was a 19th century German philosopher who believed that the Enlightenment had killed the idea of God. He argued that with the rise of science and reason, people no longer needed the crutch of religion to make sense of the world. But what does it mean for God to be dead? In this video, we will explore Nietzsche's philosophy and discuss the meaning of God's death. God is dead. Nietzsche's God is dead, in Thus Spoke Zarathustra, is not an outright rejection of faith, but a profound observation of 19th century changes. It signifies the fading influence of traditional morals and religion in this day and age of scientific advancements, not the literal death of a deity. Nietzsche witnessed the collapse of absolute truths and the rise of skepticism, prompting a cultural shift. Nietzsche foresaw a perilous consequence, the potential rise of nihilism, asserting life's lack of intrinsic meaning. In this post-religious landscape, Nietzsche didn't leave us in despair. He proposed the concept of the Ubermensch, urging individuals to forge their own meaning in a universe stripped of divine certainties. God is dead, thus becomes a call to confront the void left by the vanishing God, pushing humanity to become architects of its destiny in a world free from traditional moral moorings. Nihilism and the Void Nietzsche's God is dead was a warning about the impending dangers of nihilism. With the demise of traditional values, Nietzsche foresaw a perilous void, the vacuum left by the absent God. Nihilism, the philosophy that life lacks inherent meaning, threatened to fill this void. In this intellectual vacuum, individuals face the challenge of finding purpose and meaning in a seemingly indifferent universe. Nietzsche was deeply concerned that without a guiding moral compass, humanity would succumb to nihilism's nihilating forces, leading to apathy, despair, and a sense of purposelessness. The void left by the death of God wasn't merely an abstract concept. Nietzsche saw it as a tangible threat to the fabric of society. As traditional beliefs eroded, he grappled with the question of how individuals and societies could navigate this existential abyss without succumbing to nihilistic despair. The looming danger of nihilism becomes a central theme in Nietzsche's philosophy, challenging us to confront the void left by the absent God and find our own sources of meaning and value. Overcoming Nihilism Nietzsche, recognizing the perilous consequences of nihilism, didn't resign humanity to despair. Instead, he offered a philosophical antidote, the concept of the Ubermensch, or the Overman. In the wake of God's death, Nietzsche urged individuals to transcend the nihilistic void by becoming creators of their own values. The Ubermensch isn't a superhuman in a traditional sense, but a liberated individual who rises above conventional morality. This figure, Nietzsche believed, would navigate the post-religious landscape with creative power, forging a meaningful existence in the absence of predefined values. Rather than succumbing to nihilism's nihilating tendencies, Nietzsche encouraged a proactive stance. The Ubermensch creates values authentically, embracing the freedom and responsibility to shape one's destiny. Nietzsche's solution is a profound one, suggesting that in the face of the death of God and the looming threat of nihilism, humanity possesses the inherent capacity to rise above, not merely as survivors, but as architects of a new, self-determined meaning in an otherwise seemingly indifferent universe. Legacy and Critiques Nietzsche's philosophy, marked by the bold proclamation, God is dead, left an indelible mark on intellectual discourse. While some hail him as a prophetic visionary, others criticize the potential dangers of his ideas. Nietzsche's legacy resonates in modern discussions on morality, existentialism, and the nature of belief. Scholars grapple with the enduring relevance of his concepts, particularly the Ubermensch, in a world continually shaped by evolving values and cultural norms. Critics argue that Nietzsche's rejection of traditional morality could pave the way for moral relativism, questioning the ethical foundations of societal structures. Others caution against the potential elitism inherent in the concept of the Ubermensch, fearing it might lead to a hierarchical society. Yet, despite critiques, Nietzsche's influence endures. His exploration of the consequences of God's death and the subsequent call for self-overcoming and value creation continue to stimulate philosophical debates, inspiring thinkers to reassess the nature of morality and the human condition in a post-religious world. Whether you agree with Nietzsche or not, there is no doubt that his ideas are worth considering. 
They challenge us to think about the big questions in life. What is the meaning of life? What is morality? And what is our place in the universe? In a recent video, we discovered the philosophy of one of the darkest philosophers and AMP. His ideas were adopted by Friedrich Nietzsche. If you like Nietzsche philosophy, you will sure like the video.